Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for the wisdom and understanding of the gospel is true. Now, hey man, I was a little vexed in the spirit, man. I, I mean, I'm, I'm personally laughing at some of these things <laughs> that I'm going to address in this video, man. I mean, it's ridiculous at this point, the stuff that's going on, man. Alright, now I'm just going to, I'm probably going to call this a spiritual rant, okay? I, I might pull out a few scriptures if anything pops into mind, but just for a few minutes here, I'm going to go on a rant, okay? Which, it's always a, a good thing, and I recommend you Akiyam. You know, hey, whenever you get back in the spirit, if you're by yourself or whatever, hey, turn on your video record, uh, recording software, and, you know, say whatever's on your mind, man. You know, hey, it, it helps you relieve your stress uh, to a certain degree. And, um, you know, hey, Akiyam get to see... Yeah, your spirit, man, and hey, we're all gonna have to go through that, man. All right, sometimes you gotta let that out, man. All right, but you know, <laughs> I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with this, man. First thing I wanna start off with is that damn demon out there who named himself, um, basically, the, you remember the troll that's been going after me and seven other people on YouTube, including Andrew Ashby on there, as well, even though uh, Andrew Ashby, that guy's a demon, and he don't know the scriptures. Uh, the the fart troll as we call him because what he does is he takes videos of us <laughs> get this it's so stupid but this is what this guy does he takes video clips of us and he puts fart sounds over him which let me say this he's gonna put fart sounds over me saying what I just said don't don't believe me if he does it I'll put a link in the description box and you can go see him all right he I hundred percent guarantee you he's gonna do it but it's okay because may Yahawa Baha Shem Yahawa Shai Put that damn bastard to death, man. All right? As the scriptures the scripture say, anybody who does not believe in the God of Israel shall be put to death. Says so the scriptures. Says so the holy scriptures. All right? Since that guy, that guy named his channel just had a pure mockery and hatred for us. Well, he did. As he thought it would be funny to name his YouTube channel, which you can go find this. Look up ETT, How Shy is King. Then go to the button that says channels. You're going to see a whole list of channels. The sad thing is I only have two channels. This main channel and my backup channel that has 44 subscribers. All right, there used to be seven fake channels of me. Now there's one, but there's a few other channels that he also makes videos about us all. But you're going to see one channel there that's named Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai Shit Shit or something like that. I mean, I don't even understand how somebody could come up with <laughs> such a stupid name, man. I mean, it's, it's totally laughable. The, the pure foolishness, man. So what this guy would do is he would, which, you know, he got a little bit better now. He hasn't uploaded for a few days. But, hey, this damn demon's still going crazy, man. Making fake accounts of us, putting out false accusations, making fake accounts of us, and then typing on people's videos to make us look like a bad guy. I mean, this guy's been so bad now that what he's doing to me, listen, get this, Akim. All right, because this is, take me for an example. All right, take me for an example of the stuff that you should have to, and we all have to suffer. In this thing, man. What this person will do, this is so wicked and so, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Vile, so to speak. What this guy would do is he had made uh, two separate videos. One about me, one about um, one of my brother's uh, uh, vigilant soldier. And there's so many names of people sometimes get mixed up with them. So, yeah, vigilant soldier and me. And what he did is he, he claimed in a video that we raped him. Which clearly, obviously, is not at all true. But he knows this, but he's just trying to make us look like a bad guy. And then on top of that, what he does then, is this is going too, way, way too far now. What he'll do is he'll make fake accounts of me and some of the other brothers. And then he'll comment on people's videos and tell them, oh, I, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to rape you, I'm, I'm going to do all this. Just to make us look like a bad guy, man. I mean, it, it's totally sick. Just like, just like uh, that devil, um... Avenge it for Yahweh Shai, right? He'll cut up clips of Apostle the Har saying, you know, oh, in the kingdom, we're going to get him young. We're going to get him young. And then, and then he'll cut up clips and, and make it look like the Apostle said to go out there and do that. Or, or they'll make it look like the GMS promotes to go out and rape women. That's what, that's what these people do, okay? And hey, look, hey, look man, I'm going to say this. We all been in this for so long that after a while, you've got your own shit list, man. Don't believe me, I literally have a list, I have a physical list 
I don't got it with me, but I have a physical list that I have names written down on of people I despise. Top of the list will be Andrew Ashby. Under him, Loving Christian, and so on and so forth. All right? Um, only one person been removed from that list, and that's uh, Brother uh, Rich Beaks. All right? Because me and him used to be enemies, but now, you know, we're uh, closer than that. Which he, he really don't know the scriptures, but he knows a decent amount of history. So, hey, you know, we all got our own talents in this thing. All right? So, you know, anyway. Oh, and Loving Christian, I'll get on that guy next in a little bit. Okay? But, you know, right now I'm dealing with this uh, fart troll hacker uh, bastard, man. Hey, hey, listen. Hey, hey, my friend. I forgot to say this at the beginning of the video. I seen your video you did. I seen your video you did where you show us all your, your, your fat stacks and super uh, packs, so to speak, man. You, you brought out all these bills, right, to, to, to make it look like a, you, you're rich, like you, you got money. But hey, my friend, I called you out in the comment section because if you look at your video, what you did is you put all ones behind a 20. And I called you out on it, and you responded to every other comment I left. But when I called you out on putting ones behind a 20 to make yourself look like you're tough, you didn't respond to that. I wonder why. It's been, uh, how long has it been? Oh, 18 hours, right? And you still haven't responded to it. Why? Because you're a coward, and you know... You're a poor bastard, man. Even more than me. Okay? I mean, I mean, damn, dude, I could beat you at the $5 challenge, man. Which, if you, hey, if you don't know what that is, look that up on YouTube. I right? highly recommend your brothers cry that. Hey, good. hey, man, over a course of a year, you, you save that up? Hey, you know, that's $1,000 plus that you'll have saved up, man, for anything that you want. All right? Or anything you might need, like unexpected bills, a flat tire... Two flat tires in that case, for me, um, and so on and so forth, man. And I know I'm angry right now, but hey, uh, what is the scripture? Ecclesiastes 7 and 7, know this one by heart. Surely oppression makes wise man mad, and the gift destroys the heart. Matter of fact, there's another scripture in the, the book of Ecclesiastes. Let me go ahead and pull that up real quick. Let me find it real quick. Sometimes it takes a sec to be able to find the uh, scripture. Hmm. Let me get back here. Yeah, as I said, sometimes it takes a sec to find it because there's so many books here. Here it is. I believe it's uh, 1 in 18. Yep, yeah, there it is. One of my favorite scriptures. The book of Ecclesiastes, or should that slucky, Ecclesiasticus. Or no, I was wrong again. Ecclesiastes, it was Ecclesiastes. A slucky, sometimes I get mixed up. Ecclesiastes and Ecclesiasticus, because we all know that uh, Ecclesiasticus is in the Apocrypha. Just slucky about that, bear with me. Ecclesiastes uh, 1 and verse 18. For in much wisdom is, let me turn the page, for much, in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increaseth knowledge, increaseth sorrow. And that's an, another thing as well. Because you, sometimes you hear people that say, oh, you're Abe. He that increaseth in, uh, knowledge, increaseth in sorrow, man. And that's a saying that some of these people that don't even believe in the scriptures say. But yet they don't understand. And that exact saying came right out of the scriptures. I just read it to you. It's in the Ecclesiastes um, 1 and 18. All right, he that increaseth in knowledge, increaseth in much sorrow. Here's the paraphrase in the scriptures. All right, and there's more scriptures, man, because we departed from this wicked kingdom. All right, uh, what is that? Revelation 8 and 4. Come out of her, my people, they be not partakers of her sins. The scriptures also say that he that departed from evil make himself a prey. So we made ourselves a prey, man. Okay, we made ourselves a prey, man. All right, and, and another thing, man, a uh, brother brought up this scripture, beautiful scripture. I don't remember the exact precept or where it's at, but I'll put it off the top of my head. Basically, it, it says, um, that the Lord would reward them, those that basically uh, made the trouble their lives for the Lord's sake. And, and, and indeed, and indeed, we have troubled our lives for Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai's sake. For this gospel, we've given up our, our, our life, so to speak, man. Not, not physically. But, you know, what other hopes do you have, man? Every yo, hey, look, if you've been in this thing for a certain amount of years, then you're going to find out, if you have not already, 
You know, all your other hopes and dreams and things that you wish to accomplish in life, you put those out the window, man. Okay, because you learn the real truth of this world, man, and uh, that your your hopes and dreams are all folly, man. Like just uh, how they ask children in um uh, um like what is it first grade or whatnot? They always ask them, oh, well, what do you want to be when you grow up? And most of them, the children respond with, oh, I want to be the president, a police officer, a firefighter, a teacher, um, a judge, some of them, you know, and so on and so forth. But did you notice, did you notice that they all, all of those have to do with upholding this wicked society, man? And why do they want to uh, be those things? Because those are, for one, high-paying jobs and the higher uh, parts of this society, man. So from a young age, they train you to want to be up, um, you know, in this society, man, even doctors, all right? Because they make a hell of a, a lot of money, man. I know some people that have been, been doctors, man. They make hundreds of thousands a year, some of them, man, depending on what level they are. Even nurses can make a decent living. Hey, as I said, bros, I, I'm, just, I'm just rolling for the spirit here, bringing out whatever I want to bring out. And let me just address something real quick with uh, Love and Christian. Hey, hey, my friend, loving Christian, for one, hey, my friend, your strike was so weak, man. All right, because you don't know the scriptures, man. Here, let me just pause it real quick. All right, yeah, sorry about that, Akiya. Um, I thought somebody knocked at the door. You might have been able to hear that in the background. But anyway, it turned out to just be the wind. Uh, anyway, as I was addressing with loving Christian, you know, I found this funny because, um, I remember having a, a debate with you, Love and Christian. I, I know you remember around, I want to say, what was it, maybe eight, nine months ago, around there, me and you had a three-hour debate, which I will I will give you this, Love and Christian. I will give you this. I do have respect for you more than Andrew Ashby, okay? Matter of fact, I might even have to move. Wait, did I even mention it at the beginning of the video that Andrew Ashby was the one that's at the top of the list before Love and Christian? I believe I said so, and I'll make sure I check that list later. And if Andrew Ashby was not at the top, I'll move that demon at the top, man. Even above the fart troll. A hey, fart troll, you're not as much of a demon as Andrew Ashby is. Okay? Damn devil, man. But anyway, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, our debate, what I found this funny. Because now, you used to be saying... Back when we did our three-hour debate, you used to say that um, Saudi Arabia was Mystery Babylon. Then for a few months, you said it was the Vatican City. And now, well, a few months ago, you were saying it's Mecca. And now you're saying it's Jerusalem because I got a notification. I didn't see a video yet, but I got a notification uh, a day or two ago. I remember it. You said in the, the video title that Jerusalem is Mystery Babylon, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth, which America is Mystery Babylon. You will never accept that because you don't want to admit that you're wrong. Just like how you would never accept that so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans are true biblical Israelites, according to the Holy Scriptures. Just like how you would never accept that the Lord, Yahweh Shai, that Yahweh is the true name of who they call Christ, and that he is a so-called Negro from the tribe of Judah. All right, he's not no white dude. He's a so-called black man. It says so the scriptures. And you know this. You know this, but you're not gonna add, uh, you're not gonna admit it, man. You're not gonna admit it. And once again, I'm gonna issue out this challenge to, for one, Andrew Ashby, loving Christian, uh, even Rockapani, and some of the other guys. Um, that I've seen on the comment boards over the years. All right, but mainly Andrew Ashby, Loving Christian, Rock Upon Him. I challenge you guys to go out on the street since you guys, hey, look, all three of you believe you have the gospel, right? All of you believe you have the gospel. So if you believe you have the gospel and you want to lead people to salvation, don't you think you should be getting out on the streets as the scriptures have commanded us to do? Okay, street preaching is a commandment. Even if nobody listens to you, the Lord still wants you to go out there and show your face on the streets. Why? For one, as you're doing that, you also record, and then the video goes on the World Wide Web, so anybody can see your video. And plus, you're showing your face on the street. So therefore, that takes a lot more faith. 
They go out on the highways in the, the path of danger. Because anything can happen to us out there, man. Matter of fact, it was just I was watching some of the Akium. Actually, I knew one of these brothers. Uh, uh, his channel used to be called Trumpet in Philly. I believe it's still called that. I was spoke to that guy, that brother on uh, Google Hangouts. All right, but um, anyway, uh, what was I going to say? Basically, a guy pulled out, almost pulled out a gun on their camp when they were out there, man. Almost pulled out a gun out of his pocket, man, said, I'm going to shoot you. All right? So we are putting ourselves in harm's way, willingly, man. That's why I uh, brought out the scripture, I quoted it, that the Lord will reward those that willingly trouble our lives for the Lord's sake, man. Because, hey, look, these people putting out false, false allegations against us, calling us pedophiles, calling us rapists, you know, racists, uh, terrorists, a threat to society, and all these wicked things that they know we're not, but just to cause problems and mischief. They're going to try to say that just for their pure hatred towards us, man. Okay? For example, even though we said that in the kingdom of heaven there's going to be hardcore slavery and that we hate white people, and once again, that's not all white people because not all white people are Edomites. Okay? And that's another stronghold that you guys can't get past. Okay? When we say the white man's the devil, we're not saying every single white individual's a, a devil. Okay? Because we understand that we look like all people of the world today as the prophecies in the Holy Scriptures said they would. Okay? So that's why when, when we're out there speaking and there's a white dude that walks up to us and asks the question, we're not going to say, oh, you damn demon, you're going into hardcore slavery. Now, hey, if they walk by acting like a damn demon or whatnot, hey, tell that demon, hey, you're going into hardcore slavery. And it's true, you are. All right? But if the guy sincerely can understand what we're saying, we're not going to sit there and uh, curse the guy out because there's no reason to do so. He could be a brother, man. Even though he might look like another nation. Okay? But that's why the scriptures say that the Lord tries the hearts. Okay? The Lord looks at the inward man, the man in here. Okay? We're really in here because the, uh, when the scriptures talk about the, the heart is deceitful above all things, it's talk about the, the mind. Okay, because the, the heart is just an organ. This doesn't have feelings. This is what has feelings up here. And this is the most powerful weapon you have. Besides, really the scriptures are. But remember, this information is taken through your, your mind. Not your heart. Your mind. Okay? Two different things. I'm pretty sure that was all I wanted to, you know, address there. You know, I just wanted to address that, that stuff, that, that fart troll and whatnot. Oh, and I... I didn't know if I mentioned this. The reason why I have respect for loving Christian, okay, because I know you're watching this, my friend, okay, the reason why I do have respect for you is I will say this. I do have respect for you one reason why, all right? Very rare that you do this, but it's, you know, you, I'll give you credit for it because you do. Once in a great while, you actually will invite us to have a debate on your channel. I respect you for that because guys like Andrew Ashby, okay, and a few other individuals, but the main dude I've been trying to get a debate with for well over, I want to say, 15 months now. For 15 months, over, well over a year, I have been challenging Andrew Ashby to a debate live on YouTube. The guy won't do it. The guy won't do it, even when his YouTube channel had zero strikes on it. You know, the guy still won't do it. But hey, I'll, I'll give you credit, loving Christian. You could at least... Have a free hour of live debate with me, not once, not twice, but over four times you had a debate with me and a few other dudes on YouTube. So I'll give you credit for that, my friend. Even though, hey, you don't know the scriptures, mate, you don't know the scriptures on their talk about what the white man is or the biblical Edomites. I mean, I mean, uh, biblical Israelites. Right, and, and then the, the so-called uh, uh, blacks, Latinos, Native Americans are, are the the Edomites, the Edomites, right? Ridiculous, man. <laughs> Gotta laugh, man. But hey, I'll have respect for you because you actually will debate us once in a while, that is. Because if I asked you, hey, you have me blocked now because you don't know the scriptures and you got offended at what we brought out in the scriptures, but hey, you, I'll give you credit because you did have debates with us in the past. So I'll give you credit for that. Unlike Andrew Ashby, which is a scared fool, and he flees from YouTube. Oh, his channel got two strikes. Oh, I can't take this anymore, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to flee to the new website, uh, BitChewing Up, you load videos there. 
I'm, I'm fleeing YouTube. I'm fleeing YouTube. But anyway, I just wanted to go on a little bit of a rant there. You know, um, it's always good to let your, your faults out, you know, once in a while. Um, you know, could have went into a deeper lesson, brought out more scriptures, but, you know, hey, it's just, you know, what I wanted to go into today. Uh, but anyway, with that being said, I want to give all praise to Yahweh and Yashai. And I'll see you fellow Akim around in the next video. Shalom.